Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looks funky, right? This thing is just awesome. I'm in the process of deciding like where all my colors go, man. This thing looks awesome, right? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> looks really cool. See, and this wasn't really my idea, you know. This this was this came from Pinterest. I was on Pinterest and I was like, oh man, that is so awesome. We gotta do that. Like I had a, another lesson already set up and prepared and, and everything. But then when I saw this thing on Pinterest, I was like, no way, we got like in fact, let me show you. Let me show you. This is what I saw. Isn't that cool looking? That was just cool looking. And then I saw this one right here. Isn't that awesome? It's like abstract art and I love the angles. I love how sharp the angles are. And then you you like create these sections to color inside of the sections. Like look, look at that, look at that. You create sections with the lines and you color staying inside of those sections. See how neat it looks, when, especially like when it's up close like that. Look how neat that looks. It look like they use some kind of brushwork or something to make those lines. I don't know. They could have done printmaking to make those lines, but you know what we're going to do? We're going to do printmaking. We're going to do a little bit of printmaking. All right. First off, of course, you're going to have your paper. And what's the first thing you do? Yeah, 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 yeah. You got to put your names on your paper. Okay. Inside of my lines, I even had little small little holes in there. I think that just added some some interest, visual interest to the design. You know, you, you have two sections of color and then in between those two sections of color, you have these little small lines in there, right? You see that? So to make those lines, to make that pattern, I used da, 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 cardboard. Look at that. Can you see that? It has those those same lines with the spaces inside of there. Okay, so this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take one side. Now if it doesn't have already black on it, like I see it, it might already have black. So if it does, that's the black side. That's the side you print with. That's the side that goes on your paper. The side that does not have black, well that's what you hold. You know, you don't want black all over your hands. So we're gonna take that side, you put it in the black. Now sometimes I take a little bit back off. I stick it in the paint, it gets all saturated with paint and then I'll take some of it off and then I take this straight to the paper. <laughs> you see that? You see how easy that was? And it got the holes there, okay? Now, something that I did on mine, I don't know if you noticed this, let me show you, let me see. You notice how some of them have this little black, like, swoosh type maneuver going on? See the little black swoosh? Like I printed it and then all of a sudden you got these swoosh lines. Let me show you how I did that. Okay, you got the black, you put the black on there, right? Put the black on there. And then you print and rub. See that? I just print and drug it across just a little bit. Not that much. Print and I drug it across just a little bit. So let me see if I can get both of these in the frame so you can see what I'm doing. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Print, drag. See that? And now I have the little lines there. Print, drag. And all we're doing here is we want to create spaces to color inside of. We're just going to twist the paper around. We're going to make nice little sections to color in. Some of them I don't do the swoosh. Some of them I do do the swoosh. I just make sure that I have, see this section right here? That'll be a good section to color in with another one right next to it. You see that? That's the only thing I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make sections to color inside of. And eventually you're gonna work your say, I start in the middle, see how I started in the middle? And I'm gonna work my way all the way around the paper till I get to the outside. And that is how I'm going to do this thing, man. This is, this is, this is, and this is really easy, right? It's quick and it's easy and it's fun. And all you have to do, now it may get on the table a little bit, that's okay, we're gonna have wipes to clean that off, okay? And you just keep going. Like I say, keep twisting your paper too. You don't want there to be a top and a bottom just yet. You wanna, you wanna actually 
keep going. Now, another thing I am going to say, you see how big this section is? You don't want a section that big because that whole thing will have to be colored all one color. So if you get a section like that, try to split that up a little bit. Try to split that up. I'm going to split that up into a couple of different sections as a matter of fact. Of a section. Ooh, look at this section right here. That's really large section. Let's go ahead and uh, split that section up. See how easy that was? I can split it up again. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like the funniest thing ever. It's easy. Oh, I swiped it up off the table. Okay, so you might want to use a finger to hold on to it so you won't swipe it off the table or swipe it into somebody else's paper. That's a good option. I'm glad that kind of happened to me so that now you guys will be aware of it. Now we're going to take one last look around to make sure that we don't have very many large sections of empty space. If we do, let's go ahead and chop it up. Chop, 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 chop it up, chop it up. Let's see. I think we're looking good. I'm gonna put a little bit more right there. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so let's talk about what we shouldn't do. Uh-huh. The shalt not. Thou shalt not take your cardboard and smear the ink across the tray. It does nothing but wastes the ink and destroys the cardboard by making it too full of ink. Look at all that. Look at all that. Thou shalt not take your cardboard and smear it all across your paper. When I did the swoops, it was a very, very small swoops. Very small. Very small. Very, very short and small swoops. What I'm talking about, the thou shalt not, is this. That does nothing for you at all. This and this are two totally different things. One is acceptable. Ding, 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 ding. One is not. And thou shalt not use all of your strength. Slam the cardboard against your paper, nor shall you slam it against the ink. Does not take very much pressure. Be gentle. Tap, tap, tap. Load your cardboard full of ink. And tap, tap, tap. Print your lines. Does not take very much pressure. Be gentle. Be gentle messes up that edge and you won't get those cool looking holes and those lines in between there gives it a nice industrial type of look but um, that would be ruined if you press down too hard so there you go a thou shalt not carry on so Without further ado, I would like for you to go and have fun. I got some on the table, but it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, you want spaces to color inside of, so crisscross those lines a little bit, guys. Our next we will go crisscross those lines. Our next we will go and color. Next class. Yes, next class we're going to color. Crisscross those lines a little bit, guys. You want to have plenty of spaces to color inside of. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Nice. Nice. Besties. Yes. Yes. Ah, 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 ah. 
You're doing it. You're doing it. <laughs> How many lines do you have? One. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Ah, 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 ah,